Hi and welcome to a new video. It is strawberry season again. I'm gonna show you how to create these lovely strawberry earrings. I think everyone would look cute with some strawberry earrings, so there's a tutorial. Voice over Iris here. Hello, hello. Um, let's just pretend that I didn't forget to film the transition part. Um, yeah, so let's go straight into the tutorial. Into the tutorial. In to oh here let's go so to make these earrings you will need polymer clay i use the brand fimo and i just take a regular white polymer clay so i'm gonna paint it in the end totally optional but uh i use molding tools and a ballpoint pen tool is it what it's called I hope so. You don't have to use these, you can honestly just use a toothpick or something like that. Jewelry making stuff, I think they're called findings, I'm not sure about that. But you will need some hooks and you will need some eye pins. The next thing I use is acrylic paints because uh, I paint them. <laughs> and the last thing is uh, some varnish. I have the gloss varnish from Fimo. Yeah, that's basically all the little things you need. So let's get on to making. So I like to prepare a sheet of paper and then I take my polymer clay and I take a large amount because I'm making a few pairs of strawberry earrings. Cut little pieces and they look like mini marshmallows. Now I take every single piece and roll them into little individual balls. Look at my balls! Okay, I, I take the balls and I form them into halved strawberries. And then I make some little holes into the strawberries. I take the strawberry off the sheet and now you will have something like this. I take a plate, which I'll be using for baking these, and I place them onto the plate. I take these kind of pins, I'm not sure what they're called, but um, I use them to stab my strawberries. <laughs> the reason why I'm not using the eye pins in the first place is because I still have to paint them and I don't want the metal to have paint on them because it doesn't look as elegant. Because I'm making more than one pair, here is footage from the other strawberries in the making. And you can make all kinds of strawberries. You can make smaller strawberries or bigger strawberries, uh, like I did here. Once you have them ready and stabbed, you can put them in the oven. Once they're hard, I prepare them for painting. I take the paint directly out of the tube because I won't be using that much paint and it's, uh, it's easier. Voila! Now I take some light pink paint and paint the top and mm, try to make a little gradient. Uh, in my opinion, that makes the strawberries look more realistic. For the next part, I looked up some reference photos of half strawberries and I tried to paint just that. And they look so cute already. Let's give them a top coat so the paint stays in place and is safe and protected and it leaves them with a glossy and juicy finish. Set them aside to dry and come back later once they're dry. Once they have dried, we have to attach them to the hooks and we will use the eye pins for that. As you can see, I removed the other pins and since some paint got on the pins, I try to measure how much I should cut off from the eye pin. Once I have cut them, I take some super glue and I put just a tiny bit of glue and then I attach them to the strawberries and uh, that's... That's a strawberry, right here. <laughs> Look at all the strawberries! Now it's time to attach them to the hooks. I open the hooks with some pliers, I attach the strawberry and then I close it again and there you go. That's basically the whole thing, that's the whole process. 
um, actually nothing too difficult about this and it's very easy to make everyone can make this at home just look at them I'm such a big fan I also experimented a little bit here I made some smaller strawberries that aren't cut in half and here I made some bigger strawberries Well, hello! I was editing my video and then I realized that I completely forgot to film an outro. <laughs> so here I am! <laughs> if you do happen to make your own strawberry earrings, please, please, please send them to me or tag me in them photos so I can see them. It would be very fun to see what you guys created. I hope you liked the tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you want to. Thank you so, so much to Danny for being my patron. If you want to become a patron yourself and want to support me in my artist journey, please do so. You will find the links down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I know I have not uploaded in a long time, but I uh, will try to upload more. Anyways, if you watch this part, you are amazing. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, they are so cute. We're getting gang, gang, gang.